The following is a presentation of BaseNet Intermedia. Hi, I'm Winter Adams for Worldviews here at the 15th Annual Vegetarian Festival in Boston, Massachusetts. As you can see, there's a lot of people and a lot of vendors behind me giving out delicious samples, and I think that we should go take a look and see if we can talk to some people. The Sprout Man. Could you tell me a little bit about your product? Sure. Well, this is indoor gardening. This is apartment gardening. Something you can do in the kitchen all year round. In the Northeast, you can bring salad greens to your table that feel like it's the middle of springtime. And it's fresh. It's, more, it's about one-eighth the cost of buying commercial produce. And we have 33 varieties. And you don't need a green thumb to grow it. Well, that's always good. I'm a, I'm a plant killer. <laughs> I'm a vegetarian vegan, but I kill plants unintentionally. Here's some, here's some things here. This is a sprout bag. You just dip these and hang. If you can use a tea bag, you can use a sprout bag. And it takes about 30 seconds of uh, dipping for breakfast, 30 seconds for, eve, for dipping it for dinner. It's about one minute a day. And for people who aren't here at the festival that are watching this, could you give a little bit of information on where they would find out about your products? Well, you can go to my website, is sproutman.com, and there's a wealth of information there, free information. There's a blog, you can ask me questions. We have Facebook and Twitter and uh, lots of free information you can download. You can read parts of my books for free. And uh, so we've got a load of information, uh, books on, let me just show you here, books on wheatgrass, um, books on um, on sprouting, all these things can get you started. It's really easy, and I and my handy dandy sprouting chart, which shows all 33 varieties and tells you how many tablespoons, how many days, what method, how to cook it, or how to you know how to use it in food. And so you know this is a wonderful way. Growing up over here, we've got radish, we've got broccoli, we've got alfalfa, and we've got crimson clover. So, a great, a great way to eat fresh, young baby greens, which are highly nutritious. Great. Well, thank you so much. You're very welcome. Hi, I'm here with Tom from Miss Vegan Cupcakes. Could you tell me a little bit about your product? Um, well, right now... Um Basically, Megan, she's like kind of like the founder of the, the business, and she's dedicated to creating a lot of unique, like, delicious cupcakes, as you can see, um, a lot of different flavors. So we try to keep it dairy-free, cruelty-free, no animal products whatsoever. We try to keep everything very, like, environmentally sound and stuff like that. So I think that's, like, the big basis for, like, the cupcakes that we find very important. And how long have you guys been making cupcakes? Right now, a little over a year. So we started a little, like, small. We were, like, trying to get the business going, and then it kind of just grew from there. And we thought this was a very good step in bringing it to the public. And if somebody wanted to try one of your cupcakes that isn't here today, where where would we send them information-wise? We have um, a website, MissVegan.com. You can do ordering there, and it'll bring you to um, a shop online shop you can do it there we can meet we do like deliveries and stuff like that so that's the main, main great well thank you so much thank you I'm here with Chuck, who is the creator of Dessert Hummus, which I taste tested. Pumpkin pie, amazing. Could you tell me a little bit about your product? Well, it started three years ago, quite by accident. My daughter was working for me at a restaurant I was running, and I forced her to try regular hummus, uh, which she proceeded to spit into the trash, telling me that's terrible to put peanut butter, maybe she'd eat it. So as a joke, I did this, thinking it'd be terrible. And now I have a company that was small, but we're in seven states, and we ship on the internet, and it's growing fast. So it's all from an accident, really. Well, it's a happy accident, most definitely. Could you tell me, if people are not here at the event today, where could they purchase? 
the hummus? Well, the best thing would be to go to desserthummus.com, spelled H-U-M-M-U-S, and check out store locations or send me an email, because I'm not in all the mainstream stores yet. We're in some Whole Foods, we're in health food stores spread around in seven states, but I also ship from my website, and I have a lot of events, so, you know, if somebody really wants it, I get it to you, not a problem. Now, I taste tested the caramel. I actually kindly let me try almost all of them. I decided on the pumpkin. What would you say your favorite flavor is? If I had to pick one, it would be the almonds. I, it's a great combination with fresh pears, little grapes, and if you drink wine, white wine. These three things together are just fabulous. I've used it at wine tastings before. It's a big hit. But I do like them all. I created them, so I'm partial to all of them. But that's my favorite. Well, thank you so much for your time, and keep up the good work. Thank you very much. Thanks. Hi, I'm here with Anne and her awesome clothing. Could you tell me a little bit about your product? Sure. I am with the Autonomy Project. We are a clothing company that offers only 100% fair trade, organic, and vegan footwear and apparel for children and adults. So we have a lot of our wares displayed here today. Um, we have this awesome sneaker. It's called Athletic. It's basically the ethical alternative. Um, it's made from 100% fair trade and organic cotton, an all-natural rubber, and it's 100% vegan. So that's why we're here at the Boston Vegetarian Food Festival. It's always good. We also have a, a collection of 100% organic t-shirts that are made here in the USA. This one's actually one of our most popular. Um, it's, a, it's a fundraiser for Farm Sanctuary, which is a, a nonprofit animal advocacy and rescue organization um, in upstate New York. And it's, they, people just love it. The design's great. It's, it has a great statement on it. It goes to a good cause. Um, and then this is our second most popular here. It's called the Bike Fish Tea. It's basically a group of bikes eating a Hummer. So it's, it's humor, but it's all for a good cause. Like I said, it's all made in USA and organic. So we're just here trying to give people choices, trying to give um, ethical alternatives alternative so that their purchases can make a greater impact on our world. Now, if people wanted to purchase something that, obviously, if they aren't here today, where would they go to find information? Uh, we sell everything online at autonomyproject.com, and autonomy is spelled the French way, so it's a little trickier. It's with an I-E instead of a Y. Um, and there you can see store locations of all the boutiques across um, the U.S. and Canada that sell the products. You can buy it online um, from us, and um, yeah. And are you yourself vegan? Yes. I, I, me and my co-founder are both. Yeah. Great. Well, thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. Thank you. Well, today I tasted a lot of different things, which gave me a new palette for vegan vegetarian food. I myself am vegan, and so I didn't know that there were so many options and choices. I tried crepes, dessert hummus, and a million different drinks. Overall, great day here at the Vegetarian Festival, and I wish that all of you viewers could have participated, but I hope this little segment will give you some information. Uh, for Worldviews, I'm Winter Adams. Thank you.